Hello, this is Goxer. I'm answering here on two videos in the same time. I know that I'm very lazy on commenting on videos and my list of videos I would like to respond to is now over 40 videos. Today I will address me to Rosebush and the Happy Cabby. Uh, yes guys, even if I don't comment on many videos, I'm at least I'm watching them. Uh, it seems that we have here two opposite positions. Rosbosch's fight against censorship and Happy Cabby's awareness of many good causes like, in this case, pedophilia and child abuse. My friends, I want to give my argument about this. Dear Happy Cabby, before I answer to his subjects, I really gave it a long thought. And now I'm especially referring to your video Pre-Teen Feet Child Porn on Twitter. All in all, I am absolutely opposite to any form of censorship, especially in such a case. Pedophiles and other criminals have networks. These networks must not be especially Twitter or YouTube or even on the internet. I, it can be easily be only a telephone network, so having the telephone number of someone who has the t phone number of someone else, as an example. In this case of this Twitter community, I would never in the first step contact in Twitter to close such an account, but rather simply taking my phone or writing a, writing a mail to the police or whatever department in your state is in duty for such crimes. I think it's important not to warn the criminals but give the chance to the police to investigate the whole ring, so the whole network behind, like their subscribers or followers who probably have also their own rings. Here we have now a very concrete example and I would like Happy Cabby to do an update on what happened after he contacted Twitter, uh, how he followed this case. It would be really interesting to know and I hope he will do it. As a YouTuber I have a suggestion how to handle this in another manner. Suggestion. So here is how I would do it. First, I see something what is obviously criminal and has nothing to do with free speech or opinion. I contact the department in duty and I let them doing their work. Meanwhile, I stay observing if this account is taken down. I observe if there is something in the news about a pedophilia ring and after a time, if nothing happened, I take a feedback from the police what happened with my complaint. And if nothing happened, I would certainly first threat the police with a video post or an open letter that they finally do their work. Now, as a YouTuber, I would document every of my steps and post this documentation as a video after the police had a chance to do their work. With such a video I would show my community how to do to get really rid of those criminals. This does not exclude that through personal messages of my own network, we can motivate other people to join our cause and to motivate them also to do a complaint. My second why is that I'm against any form of censorship because this will sooner or later hurt ourselves and our freedom of expression. 
I hope that everyone agrees with me that I don't do a difference between the virtual and the real life. In the real life, we are not allowed to do a lynch justice uh, a la Wild West and to take the law in our own hands. And this should not be different on the interwebs. This was Cockster. Thank you for listening and please tell me your stand on this topic. Thank you very much and goodbye.